Right now, national attention is on Terre Haute. This morning, John Walker Lynn was released from Terre Haute's federal prison. That's after he served 17 years of his 20-year sentence behind bars. Lynn was arrested after the U.S. invasion of Afghanistan in 2001. He was also present when a group of Taliban prisoners launched an attack that resulted in the death of a CIA agent. That agent's name was Johnny Mike Spann, and he interrogated Lynn and other prisoners. Sadie All has been following this case, and she tells us what's next for Lind. Sadie. Mike, Lind pleaded guilty to supporting the Taliban, which dropped the terrorism charges against him. So now we learn what life is going to be like for Lind after his release and why the father of Mike Spann wants the court to reconsider his release. A 20-year-old John Walker Lind was with the Taliban during the 9-11 attacks. According to an NBC News report after being captured by the U.S., it was during his sentencing of 20 years behind bars that the California-raised American Taliban told the court if he knew what he knows now of the Taliban, he would have never joined them. Lind's release comes three years shy to his original sentence due to good behavior. It's not considered an early release, but probation. During his time in prison, and Lynn didn't stay quiet. He filed and won three lawsuits against the Terre Haute Federal Prison. One allowed the right to pray in groups at the prison. The other reversed an inmate strip search requirement when receiving visitors. The third granted the right to wear prison pants above the ankle. Lind claimed this was an Islamic principle. Although he was granted a shorter prison sentence for good behavior, the father of CIA agent Johnny or Mike Spann asked the United States District Court for the Eastern District of Virginia to investigate a little further. Johnny Spann pointed to a report by the National Counterterrorism Center. According to an AP report, the investigation claimed that Lynn, quote, continued to advocate for global jihad and to write and translate violent extremist texts, end quote. Johnny Spann says in his request to the court that Lynn violated the terms of his plea agreement, enabling him to that 20-year sentence. After Lynn's release, he will temporarily live in Northern Virginia under a strict three-year supervision. Eventually, he'll move to California, where his parents reside. There are restrictions to Lynn's release. NBC News reports the probation officer office will monitor his internet use. He's not allowed to have an internet capable device without permission from the office. He cannot view extremist or terrorism videos and he can't speak in any other language online than English. He also speaks Arabic. He has to undergo mental health counseling and has cannot leave the U.S. without permission of the court. I also understand that Johnny Spann, the father of the slain CIA mm -hmm. officer, has made an appeal uh, pleaded to President Trump. Right? Yes, yes, that's what we have in our reports. He asked to stop today's schedule mm -hmm. release saying, quote, Mr. President, please do your job, protect Americans, end quote. Mm -hmm. Now, we first reported on Lynn's release earlier this week on Tuesday, and all of our following social media posts that came generated a lot of comments from yeah. the public. People are unhappy that he's being released. They don't want him in the United States. Our D.C. Bureau talked with a research fellow in the program of extremism at George Washington University. He, too, has some concerns about Lynn's and other extremists release from prison with no real programs behind bars to reverse some of these ideologies. I think one of the major concerns is just that we're, number one, getting to this problem as a whole much too late. You know, already people are starting to be released from prison, and we're sort of catching up to the idea of installing uh, programs, a top-down strategy for uh, countering recidivism. The executive assistant at the Terre Haute Prison sent us some background on the prison's role in cases like this, stating that there are policies for monitoring communications for inmates tied to foreign terrorism. And we will dive more into that over on WTWO News at 11. This is a big story. And yes. It's generated a lot of conversation, yes. and I don't think it's going to end anytime soon. No, I don't see that happening all either. Right. Thank you, Sadie, for all that research and work. Thank you. All right.